So in a recent turn of events, all the Skyblock YouTubers have started ditching Optifine and switching to using the Badland client. 30Virus, Zap, SquidKid, and even Technoblade, a known Optifine user, has been seen to make the transition. So I sold out, downloaded Badline, and immediately found a bunch of things wrong with it. So I'm going to be using this video as an outlet for my frustration. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, share the video, turn on notifications, subscribe to my second channel, like all its videos, come back, watch all my videos, and wonder why you just wasted 20 hours of your life doing that. Oh yeah, the video. Quick disclaimer before we start. The Bad Lion client is a really good Minecraft client and probably the best one actually. The only reason I'm making this video is because some of these issues are really bugging me and I'm hoping that someone can fix them by like telling me the answers in the comments or something. I don't know. Uh, please, I need help. All right, let's go. Bad line changes the look of the menu, so if you're used to the default menu look, then this is going to be like really confusing and a big change for you. The chat is really small and there is no way to change that. Whenever you do the default dance, it puts you in F5 mode and when you stop dancing, it keeps you in F5 mode. Apparently the toggle sneak mod can get you banned on Hypixel and Bad Lion does not give you a warning. You can tell that the zealot counter is not completely cut out. There's still a little bit of white bars around the zealot heads. If you go into the chat and click something like a trade request or an auction item bot, and then you try to exit by hitting enter, it doesn't work. You either have to do escape or click out. I mean, why? If you change the resolution of the screen to see more of an item, it sometimes doesn't even work. Unlike regular Minecraft, it doesn't show you the options of the commands that could come up based on what you've written. Like, there should be like a blinking thing saying game mode, but there isn't. The slash fill command doesn't work. For some reason, when I do the tab option, it just does random numbers that are in the 50s. Badline has anti-cheat, which bans people who use hacks on their client. But if you want to use hacks for a server that allows hacks, like 2b2t, I assume it would still ban you. I feel like it should ban you based on what servers you're playing. In 1.16, every time you load up the game, it changes the zoom keybind to zero. You have to go in and change it every time. It also doesn't allow you to change it to keys like Alt, FN, or Control. In 1.16, none of the bars in any of the meters like the FOV actually show up. There should be a bar showing me like how far I am into the meter. This is also the same thing for things like sensitivity or scroll sensitivity or you get the idea. Every time I try to open Badline, it gives me this message. Do you want to allow app to make changes to your device? I have to click yes every time I want to open it. If you enable the full inventory warning in Badline and in the regular Skyblock, it will give you two warnings if you have a full inventory. If you're on 1.8 and you enter a sign, it starts blinking, making it impossible to read for half of the time. Alright, so that was my list of 15 things wrong with Bad Lion. If someone from Bad Lion is actually watching this video, it would be great if you could fix some of these issues and maybe comment that you did so down below. You could also offer to sponsor a sequel to this video, maybe it could be titled like, I don't know, 15 things right about Bad Lion, or when selling out to Bad Lion involves more than just downloading their software. But just think about it, I, I don't know. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.